Hello guys, this is Dara Artspire and welcome to another tutorial. Now in this one we're going to be going over some compositing, just general compositing. Now, just quick before I start, I do really need some suggestions guys because I want to keep bringing out tutorials for you but I'm really really struggling to come up with ideas. Now I just, I literally have just got Element um, from Video Copilot, Element 3D. So I um, started playing with that a lot and I might better get some tutorials out from that for you guys. But other than that, let's just get started in some compositing. Now the things I do when I composite, now let me just um, show you what compositing is. So if I go on to my, hmm, uh, this one, this is the first edit, Black Ops 2 edit I did. Now let's have a look, I think I did it on this one. Uh, nope. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you guys my, you're going to get a sneak preview of my new edit I'm working on which is going to be a new editing series. Okay, so this is compositing. Now, compositing is putting clips and layers and compositions all together to create an end result. So if you look, this this is a still from the edit I'm working on. So this is using this layer here, this pre-comp called Clip 1. So if we open that clip up, you'll see you've got these bars, you've got this layer bars, you've got looks and misfire, then you've got flare, light and then you've got all the sync layers so that is one layer of compositing now one thing i have gotten into the habit of doing is what i'll do is i'll sync up the clip i won't have i'll turn all this off i'll have this okay i've got the clip all synced up so i shall select the clip uh and the sound as well the gunshots not not just the sound just the gunshots i'll hold shift command c or shift control c and i'll just call this um Clip one sync like that. Then what I'll do is I'll then have this comp. I'll then put all the effect layers on top of that to create the end result, such as this. So in the end now we have this layer, and then open that up, and you've got all the effect layers. You then open the, that layer up, and you've got all the sync layers. So I'm actually going to. This is kind of how I do it. So I'm just going to go into a new project. I'm not going to save. Um, let's just open ourselves up a clip. Um, let's open up uh, this one. Voila. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll drag this into a composition. I'll have the song and I'll sync all the clip up and everything. So let's just pretend I've synced this clip up. Oh, my, that's a lot of people there. There's like three guys. Shame that wasn't a triple. Wait, what? How did... So it kills him and him, but not him, huh? That makes no sense. Anyway, um, so let's show we've got this clip all set up. What I'll then do is I shall then come shift command C to pre-compose it, and I shall call this say C1 for clip, oh, C1 for clip, and then sync. There we go. So we now have that clip all synced up. Now to do the next lot of things, we are going to go into color corrections and the bars. Now there's two ways to do bars. One way I do it is go to layer new solid, uh, make it comp size. I'm just going to call them layer bars. This is one of my favourite ways to do it because you can adjust it quite easily. Now, next to where the magnification is, there should be a thing called choose grid and guide options. If you click that and click grid, this should pop up. Now, click the bars, grab the rectangle mask tool, and select the area you want to be shown. So, I'm going to do quite uh, reasonably sized bars. So, I'm going to like this, so this way it's the same pretty much on each side. Then what you can do is click, uh, change the mask one to subtract, turn the grid off, and there you go, you've got the bars. And that's a pretty cool effect, and then you can obviously, if you go to mask and you low, uh, lower the expansion, you can obviously do this kind of effect, which looks a bit weird. But what you can do is you can also minus it down, so you can make the bars smaller, like small bars, big bars. And then you can obviously Go turn the grid back on, bring it up to make even bigger bars, like this. You can really do whatever you want to create these kind of effect. So let's just change this back to how it was. There we go. And turn the grid off. Okay, now I've got the bars. That's the first thing I do. Now the second way to do the bars is with an adjustment layer. So if you go to layer, new adjustment layer, you go to then effect, stylize, and motion tile. If I drag this beneath that layer, call this bars as well. 
And when it says output height, it changes to 90, say 95. And voila, you've got two back bars. And then you can change it to maybe 75. It's going to be some quite big ones. Let's maybe leave it at what, 87. There you go. So these are some quite nice bars. So now you do that, and you can do the same with the output width as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and that's the same effect you use if you want to get rid of the edges and stuff. So you can do that way, that method of bars or this method of bars. It's really up to you. You can don't need to use an adjustment. Though. You can actually put the motion tile straight onto the composition, which we've already seen, and it works as well, just as well. So you don't need an extra layer. You can just do it straight on that layer. So we've now got the bars. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. The, foot, the next thing I will then do is go into um, new adjustment layer. I'll call this adjustment layer misfire. And then I'll just go to effect, magic bullet misfire, and then misfire. Now, the, what the main thing I do is where it says vignette, I will tick that. So then go to the little down arrow and I shall change the intensity down to maybe something like 25%. So it's only, it's, it's barely visible and it's only, only just noticeable. And then the next thing I'll do is it, where it says apply post contrast is tick that. So adds a bit of contrast that you can then bring this down for maybe 13. This has got a little bit of contrast, and as you can see, it's already looking a, a lot more interesting and more colourful. So that's the basic kind of layer I start off with when I'm adding colour corrections. Now, what you'll see is one of the big differences with using the motion tile on um, like an adjustment layer or on the clip itself. Adjustment layers will affect the black now, it will affect the backlight, it won't be under the black. So if I add another adjustment layer, if I call this then looks one. Go to your effect, magic bullet looks. Um, just edit. Just let this open up for a second. Then on my presets load. Now let's say, let's just add one of my simple ones. Uh, should I use that one or that one? Now as you can see here, we've got a glow which is going over the black layer and it's also blurring it, which we don't want. We want the black to be above that. So that's one of the downsides of doing it in this method. I'm also going to try and find a basic colour correction here, that would, might look quite nice. I like this one. Mm. I like this one, so let's use this one. So we'll add that one in. And as you can see again, it's not actually affecting the back bars anymore, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm not even sure what it normally does that for me. Hmm. Oh well, but what you can do is if it does affect the back bars, you can just obviously add a solid on the top, very top layer above all the magic but it looks. And you can do it like that. Now, the key thing with making colour corrections is to um, use more than one. So I've already got the misfire and the magic will it looks. So I'm actually going to go to layer, new adjustment layer. Call this layer looks 2. And actually add in another magic will it looks. Edit. And let's find another one. Um, let's see what we can do with this. This is quite cool. When it loads, and obviously I've got. If you download lots of packs, then you can obviously mix and match. You see different ones like it's quite nice. Again, that's nice. Basically, you just want to test out different types of color corrections and see what you like. Um, this is that's quite a starry one, red one. Let's just grab a an Enigma one here. Click finish. And hmm, what you can then do is go to, if you press T on both the layers, it will be opacity. You can play the opacity, so you can change it slightly. So that we'll put the second one to there, give this one even lower, maybe keep this one quite high. Then you can also change the blending mode, so maybe change the looks, the, the new one to add, make it a bit more colourful. Um, overlay is quite a nice one to use, I can kind of create some nice effects. Or you just keep it at normal, whatever you want, and then change the one underneath to overlay. That's kind of got quite, nice, quite a nice look to it. So there we've got the colour corrections all set up now with our sync. So what we can then do is select all these layers, shift, shift command C, and call this C1 composite. Composite. How do you spell it? Composited. Composited. That's, that's it. I don't know why. Uh, that's better, that and now we have all our things. Now we can then drag this clip, so the actual one we're in, let's just call this C1 complete. If we just grab ourselves a song quickly, um, 
I don't know why I've got this song, just put it in a composition. You can then drag this song, this C1 Complete, into the main composition and sync it back up with the music wherever you synced it. And then you've got it all synced up. Now this is the method I use, um, go back a bit so I can get the quad feed. This is the method I use to composite and to obviously organise my artifacts. So this has been kind of a tutorial on mixing and matching lots of different things, a bit of colour corrections, a bit on like bars. Um, you can obviously add some blurs around the edges if you want that, if you like that kind of effect, like one I've seen people do. So if we just go into the looks one, if we go to layer, new adjustment layer, uh, effect looks, and what you can do is at the side, if you go to lens where it says edge softness, you can drag that in. Obviously, you can change the size of these things. So some, sometimes what I like to do is blur out the far edge here, change the quality up to maybe, oh, if it works, there we go, uh, five, it will increase the quality of the blur. So it gives this kind of a blur around the edge a little bit. You can kind of do that sort of thing, call it blur. Oh, no, don't delete it. And stuff. So yeah, you can kind of, you can do lots of stuff and now it's all blurred in here and stuff. So yeah, it's, this has kind of been quite a mixed tutorial. Um, like I said guys, be sure to use suggestions because obviously I'm not doing super advanced, interesting tutorials because I haven't got any ideas and I've been trying to get ideas for ages but I just haven't got one. So I thought I'd do this, has kind of been a requested one. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like, uh, subscribe, I'm almost at 1000 so please tell your friends and I shall see you guys later.